dollies. I hope you are having a great day. So today's review is going to be on Pull Up Etoll Undomino. I hope I'm saying that right version. So as always, you all, I'm going to give you my honest opinion regarding this release and give you any helpful information that I may know regarding this doll. So let's get started. So she comes with this very beautiful, huge, I don't even know. I know there's a proper name to this right now. It's slipping my mind. But yeah, she comes with this very huge, I don't know, cape call. I, I know there's a proper term. I'm having an airheaded moment right now. I can't remember the actual name, but let's talk about this piece first. So this is how it looks like out when the doll is not wearing it. Very big. It actually surpasses her feet. And this is actually a little bit heavy. But it is really great quality. The fabric does have some sheen to it, as you can see. And then the way that she holds it around her neck is this beaded necklace you see here with white and red. And then you connect it to this like literally small piece of thread that you see here. And it's a little bit challenging to get on because the way that it's made is just a little bit challenging to put it on there. But once you get it on there, it's going to stay. It's not going to fall off or anything like that. Um, but this is really great quality. We do have the fake fox fur to the outer part. It's not real. And then on the inside, we have the Galaxy, Galaxy theme print. Very great quality. The print is very nice. It's not blurry. So it's really, really great. I really like this. Really nice. So she has that. And so let's talk about the doll a little bit. Because now her wig is like, okay, here we go. So this is the doll. So she has very beautiful, long, look at this, long brown hair. And then the brown actually has some strands here of red, as you could see on the sides. Very subtle, but very, very pretty. Absolutely love it. The wig itself is very soft, but a little bit dry here to the bottom, but it's not dry to the point that's going to like break apart or anything like that, like split ends or anything. But the quality of the wig is overall okay. It's not so bad. And then we don't have any signs up here of the wig cap showing. Um, so I really do like that a lot. I want to apologize if you hear my bird in the background making noise. She tends to get excited when I'm not with her because she wants me to bring her in the room, but I just can't do that when I'm reviewing a, a doll. And then if not, she'll be flying here and totally disrupt this. So I want to apologize if you do hear my bird in the background. So, um, okay, now let's start. Um, we'll continue on by talking about her face up. Oh my gosh, this card is about to fall off. So her face up. So she has these really, really pretty eyebrows. The eyebrows, they hint like a dark purple plum color, and but they're really pretty and they really match her lips nicely. Her lips, as you can see, they're, the, they're a plum color and they're glossy and really pretty. I'm sorry, her hair is like all over her eyes. And then her eyes, she has this very pretty yellow eye chip color. I think it goes really nicely and it contrasts really nicely with the purple. And then she does have these two um, stones here on the side nothing like they're gonna fall off i really really like it they're very cute and then her eye makeup is like hmm i would say brown like brown like kind of like a brown shadowy eye um that we have here to the top a little bit to the bottom um it's kind of hard to describe it but you could kind of you could see that there's color there and then to her cheeks she does have a little bit of light plum to to them I'm sorry my lighting right now is not cooperating but there is some color come on to her cheeks okay let me see if I do this nope it's not working with me well you were able to see her without the light like that much light oh second ago I don't know what's up with my camera and then when you close her eyes this is how it looks like so she does have that black actually it's not black <gasps> It's not black. It's um, it's like a yeah. It's like a plum color eyeliner. It looks kind of black on camera, but maybe I'm going color blind. No, <laughs> it's like a plum color. Okay, and then now let's talk about her stock. So she does come with this one-piece tube dress. That's what I call it. It's like a tube dress. Same pattern 
as um, the cape. I know there's a proper term to that. We're going to call it cape for the purposes of this video. But I know there's another term, but it's not coming right now. Um, same pattern of the galaxy uh, on the dress. The dress is like a soft fabric material. It is cotton, though not satin. Very nice. The, the pattern itself is not blurry or anything like that. Just very, very nice. And then we do have like this mermaid ruffle here to the bottom. And then to the bottom of this mermaid ruffle, we do have this red, dark red, burgundy, burgundy, I cannot talk today, <laughs> fabric here. Very nice and soft. And then we'll talk about the shoes in like two seconds because I do want to show you this back piece. And then to the back piece of her dress, one of my favorite pieces is this beautiful red bow with this very these beautiful beads here i absolutely love this piece it's just a, it's such a shame but you really can't see this much when she's wearing her her um cape because it's beautiful she looks almost like she's going to like a prom very very beautiful and then her arm warmer sleeves are very pretty as well they're shimmery very nice very great quality, thin, but it's not thin like it's gonna break. I absolutely love, love this variant. I think a lot more than the other ones. So then she has that. And then as you could see, they're about to fall off right now. Her bread burgundy shoes, hard plastic, but a little bit too big. So I would just tell you be careful with that because it might fall off. <laughs> and yeah and then besides that she does come with her collector card galaxy princess if you ask me so then that's basically it so what do i what do i think so i was as i was mentioning before or I, I think i mentioned it this is the third version of this doll we had a blue version then we had a pink version and now we have the red and black version honestly i think if you have the other two and you're like, do I need another one? I think she's different enough to say, okay, it's not, it's not a bad idea to have her in my collection. She is different enough. But if you, if you were, you know, trying to get the blue or the pink, their faces are identical. So that's a different story. But this one is different enough that if you're interested, I think you'll be happy because like I said, she's different. The stock quality is there. Um, her wig is very nice, very long. It, to me, it's not a bad, it's not bad quality. Um, her stock is really there. Her face is beautiful. I absolutely just love how these dolls come with um, these stone pieces there. Absolutely do love that. Makes them very unique. And if you like galaxy, you know, things, things about space, I think you'll really, really like her. I actually do like the black and red one a lot i think those are because i kind of do like those colors um but i wouldn't wait too long in getting her because she will sell out the other two did sell out pretty quickly so if you're interested in getting here and you're like oh is she worth it i think i think you'll be happy the quality of the sock is there the face up is there the wig is there and is she really versatile believe it or not she is i've actually seen her in other outfits and she doesn't look too bad and she's a brunette so it's not going to be difficult to get her in another outfit so where could you get her so you could get her at pullipstyle.com i can never remember off the top of my head the price but like i was saying to you all do not wait too long because she will sell out and she is actually an anniversary doll of pullip i'm sorry i have hiccups so i hope you all found this review helpful if you have any questions please don't hesitate and let me know actually one other thing before i go that i wanted to mention that i haven't mentioned in my other videos if you could please please subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel um, believe it or not about 80 percent of my viewers are not subscribed and if you're wondering how in the world does that impact me it actually does when it comes to like the little pennies that I make from YouTube, it does impact me. I do appreciate to appreciate those that are subscribed to me and have been with me all these years. You guys are like the bomb.com. If it weren't for you all, I would not even be here or making these reviews. So if you are watching and you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe. I try my best to upload every week. And as you can see, I'm a huge pull up fanatic and you will hopefully get to live and love pull up like I do. And yeah, so please subscribe. 
other thing I wanted to mention is, is that pull up is not intended for children. Um, I wanted to make this, you know, out there. She is a collectible item, not intended for children, but for adults, she is not a toy to play with or neither of the dolls call them dolls. Cause that's what they call them, but they're not, they're collectibles. Other figures in the pull up family, they are collectible items. So I hope <laughs> PSA, I hope you found that, um, helpful if you have any questions like i said please don't hesitate and let me know and i will see you all in the next one bye bye